back to SA Live's a Halloween special for the recently deceased. And if you're new to the afterlife, you're definitely going to need a good drink. Our next guest can make any events extra special with her over-the-top cocktail creation. We're working with a professional here. We'll be the judge of that, though, <laughs> all right? We got Lillian Oller, owner of Assemble Cocktail Workshop. You brought the party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Beetlejuice. All right. So What's the first drink? We yeah. are going to make beetle blood. Oh, all right. Yeah. There you go. All straight, right. Straight from the source. <laughs> straight from the source if you need it. I'm willing really to get it. All right. Oh, no. no we're no, going to no, no, measure no, this no, thing in the shaker pit beetle here. Juice. We are going to throw in some vodka. Vodka. Oh, oh my yes. old friend. It could yes. be any base spirit that you like. For you tequila lovers out there, or gin lovers, this could even work well with bourbon. That's probably enough for you, Mr. Oh. Beetlejuice. Now listen, I'm undead. <laughs> or dead. Uh, 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 Whatever. I don't even remember anymore. And then we also have this blood orange. Okay. Okay, that's, that's always, that's always, always, always raining me in. That's enough. <laughs> we have this blood orange syrup uh, that already has some activated charcoal in it, uh, just to make that extra spooky, give it that extra spooky vibe. There's also some cranberry juice. We're just gonna throw that together. Um, put some ice in it and shake it on up. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. And a shake. And a shake, and then you can just pour that into that martini glass and garnish with a little blood orange uh, slice there. Okay, and so you said it was activated what? Activated charcoal, Ooh. and that's just gonna give it that dark appearance. It that, is these edible. two things right here? Yes. With the blood orange yes. syrup. Right there. Okay, right do your garnish, on. Beetlejuice. Don't forget right. about the garnish. Oh, you're yes. so bossy. <laughs> wait, 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 I wanna see this charcoal because you know. Oh, oh. I don't know why people wanna lighten their oh, no. juice. Oh, right? Oh, it's oh, oh, it's oh, multi-purpose. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, now that's looking good, oh, right? That's so good. That's oh. looking good, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, let's move on. <laughs> okay, well since Beetlejuice handled all the alcohol for all of us, mm -hmm, we have mm -hmm. some non-alcoholic gin here uh, that we're going to go ahead oh. and use. It's nice to have these alternatives for people who are being mindful about drinking these days. Um, Not so, so just, mindful over here. <laughs> right. okay. Go ahead and pour a little bit in the glass here. Um, and then I just pre-mixed up some basil simple syrup, mm -hmm. um, lime juice, and uh, cucumber juice strained there. And you can just pour out on top, almost up to the top. I'll help you out with some ice. And and we will throw some tonic water over that. Ooh, I love kind the of green. Fill it up. Now this is called the sandworm. Um, it is the sandworm. How, how's Beetlejuice? Oh, ah! How's Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> Beetlejuice having too much fun over there. Okay. Um, here and go, this little like ribbon of cucumber oh, makes cute. a fun little Look touch at the little, for Halloween. The little skeleton right there. You see that? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's yes. so cute. Now this gin here doesn't have that effervescent kind of um, that feel, the agitation that you get from a regular gin. But adding oh, no. adding oh, no. herbs like basil um, is going to kind of make up for that there. Okay. What is it? Okay, that Beetlejuice is. That's okay. Beetlejuice right? is okay. living. The best this beetle juice. Life. The best yep. beetle juice life. Okay. Yes, this, right. this cocktail's got some life in it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> and then for the people who um, shouldn't be making their own cocktails at parties, uh, we have a pre-batched Deo daiquiri here. This is a banana liqueur, a rum, um, and lime juice and coconut water. And this is just going to be pre-batched, pre-measured. So you went with like a tropical type. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Banana infusion there. And it's uh, nice to have it pre-batched, right? And you could just pour right, away juice? and Beetle it's juice delicious is every time. Adding more <laughs> garnishes. No, I think you had enough garnishes. Oh, wait. What, I don't know. Can they see? Oh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Okay. And with this, we're just gonna do a couple dashes of bitters there. Uh, this is just gonna add to the complexity, make it just pop a little bit more. You could throw in a banana chip. You could also throw in um, some lime zest, but a nice little lime wheel is what we're gonna do if we're pre-batching this for guests who uh, shouldn't be making their own cocktails at a party. Like Beetlejuice, right? This would be good for Beetlejuice. It's nice and simple. All yeah. right, uh, people can book you for special occasions, parties, you can come out to them, right? Yeah, we can come out to them or they can come to our new little pop-up studio that we have going on for the holidays. Uh, we're located at 248 North Main Street in Bernie. Uh, we're located inside of the chateau there. It's a collective uh, shopping, shopping little house, actually. There's a wine bar and a couple different- It's um, showtime! <laughs> <laughs> Showtime! Every time with yep. Lillian. Showtime. All right, thank you so much, Lillian. Thank you. There's the website for more information. All right, there's lots more ahead.